I'm going to demonstrate the use of AI generative fill in Lightroom on a Ricoh Theta Z1 image. So I'll just paint over myself in the left hemisphere. And the special thing here is how it kind of honors the curved line of the camera body that we're seeing in the image. And if you're not happy with the results, you can pick some of the other alternatives or even refresh it to run it again. But this one looks pretty good. And I'll do the same thing over on the right hemisphere. A little bit of my legs, hand and feet showing here. So just grab that, paint it out. This isn't going to work in all situations. In this case, it's good because in the right hemisphere, it's probably outside the stitch line. And I'll go and paint out some of the other tourists in the scene. And Probably this is going to be fine on the first pass, and it is. Grab some of the other people further in the distance. The advantage of doing this on the unstitched image is that it's non-destructive. I can go back in, change my mind later, do something a little different if I wish. The AI is not as powerful as doing in Photoshop. For example, there's no text prompt at this point. So here you have the Pont de Garde in France with no tourists. The main thing you have to watch out for is there's a 1024 by 1024 pixel limit on the AI retouch. So you have to make sure that you're not retouching an area that's too large at any one time. Thanks for watching. I'm Clay Moorhead, 360 Niagara. You can find me on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube by searching for 360 Niagara.